going to talk about, you know, the feud of AEW, the pinnacle and the inner circle. But first, we're going to talk about the pinnacle. And by the looks of it, it looks like most of the pinnacle members do like their steaks medium rare. That's they like the a nice, them. they like a nice fine red wine. You know, if we saw a, a well done Warlo. steak, <laughs> Warlow chicken. Warlow definitely bottle. likes a nice fine red wine. My man yeah. downed the bottle. That was fantastic. Oh, gosh, this is maybe you know, not as much as Sean point. Spears though, because Sean Spears it's is true. ready to bust someone's face open for not getting yeah, an empty glass, glass yeah. and he was absolutely <laughs> pissed. And I loved yeah. that Tully threw the money to the server like a mob boss. You know, it's like this should cover good, it like a big call. mob boss. It was like yep. so great. You know, you're a Sopranos the main, fan. You yeah, know. he's the main man of this group, right? I mean, T- right. Tully is the the he, like the legend, right? So the ho- the four horsemen uh, icon, and to kind yeah. of throw that wad of cash at the waiter and tell him this will cover it. Go, yeah. you, know, t- you know, that was a really nice move. I like that. You're right. Good call. <laughs> it was a little, that little thing that you caught. Caught. I really yep. like that. And you know, of course, MJF. Could do no wrong. That guy is just pure gold. He is the drizzling. You know, he did call us the drizzling shits, which will never live down. No, but he is the drizzling. He is the the orange swirly, though. He is the drizzling orange swirly from his spray tan. But once again, just a, just a fire promo. Um, and you know, Dax cutting cutting a mean promo as well. Like those two are, as we've said before, Dax, and he knows is the Dax workman is the horse. Work horseman. He's the work the work horseman of the pinnacle. The That's work right. horseman of AEW. Yep. Dax is it. He yep. is the man, period. And a great stash, might I say, and he likes his steak medium rare. <laughs> I like what I like about Dax and what I like about what's happening with the pinnacle is obviously like MJF, dude, like that could that dude, you could t- like if you threw a mad libs at MJF and told him he needed to cut a promo about like you know his peanut butter uh, a fork and hand sanitizer. Yeah, yeah, MJF. Yeah, cut a promo about this. And a stamp. red sharpie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he could cut like a killer promo about whatever, right? Like he's just so good, right? But, but because of that, you're also you can see the confidence is building in his team. You can tell like the Jeez. opportunity to talk is is there now because you yep. you can put a guy like MJF to be the centerpiece of a promo segment. But then allow other guys in that segment to get True. time. And and as an FTR fan, I love seeing Dax emerging as a guy mm-hmm. who can cut a hell of a promo, man. Like we You're love right. what we're we love what we see him out of out of him in the ring. He is the workhorseman of the pinnacle. And that dude can throw a spine buster that would make Ann Ar- Arn Anderson blush. The guy is fantastic <laughs> at what he does, right? But but to see Dax kind of that no nonsense. Like like old school like promo vibe that you get from a guy like Dax mm-hmm. is really nice, man. I love what they're starting to do with him, and and I've always been FTR as a team. You can't ever, but you're starting to see Dax kind of emerging too as a guy. Like wow, this guy has potential if they ever wanted to give him a little solo run. We've seen some of those great matches that he had with Jericho and Jungle Boy. Dax has it in him, dude. The Dax could do it. Um, I love what they're doing with with this whole crew. And and I think that, you know, Sean Spears is another guy who's getting an opportunity in a segment yep. like this, you know, not cutting a traditional promo, not going out there in the middle of the ring and having to hold a microphone and right. carry a promo by himself, but showcasing his character, showcasing his edge, a guy who's at any, any moment could snap, you know, that's why he's the chairman. He's the guy who cracks. I'll always remember that, that chair shot to Cody. He's that guy. And yeah. It showcases a guy who's got that that razor thin trigger that will that at any moment the, the the chairman can strike. Like I like that. I like that where they're they're leaning into that. I think there's a lot of character work that are that's emerging in these segments beyond just a promo. And I love what they're doing with that. <laughs> 